Hey guys, it's Ellie Mayday here, finally doing my video that I promised you at a thousand likes. Uh, I just got back from my photo shoot with Pinna Perfection. I had Stella Lucina do my hair and makeup and she did a fabulous job. So you will see those photos very shortly, I believe. Um, yeah, so I'm doing this video. If you don't know already, I promised that I would do a video if I got to a thousand likes. Today I got to way more than a thousand likes and it's been wonderful. I had to wait a little while to do the video uh, because I got burnt on my last trip away. So yes, this is why it took so long. Um, so basically I'm just going to be ans uh, answering a few questions that people have sent in to me that were curious about Ellie Mayday. Um, yeah, so here they are. Uh, People ask me what I do for a living. Well, I'm actually a flight attendant, and that's where the Mayday comes from. Um, the Ellie part comes from Ellie Mae Clampett because I'm from a farm, so that is the origin of my name. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about my workout, what I do to work out. Um, Currently, I'm not really working out that much. I haven't been feeling too well, so for the past three and a half months, I really haven't been at the gym. But when I'm at the gym, I do about um, at least an hour to an hour and a half of cardio, and I mix it up between treadmill, um, elliptical, and the bike, and uh, weights in between. So I try to keep myself just entertained, really, because I can kind of get bored. Um, yeah, that's what I do for a workout, but I try to spice it up a little bit. I'm not really much of a yoga person. The yoga person, yeah, I can't even say it right. Yoga person. Um, but uh, yeah, I like the gym. I do when, when I'm able to go, for sure. Um, people ask me what my dress size is and my pants size and so on and so forth. I am a 32 on a good day, 34 mostly is my jean size. I don't know what that is in American or any other country, <laughs> but here in Canada, um, I'm a 14 in a dress size as well. So um, I'm considered plus size, just kind of on the cuff of it. Um, I think the stigma around plus size really needs to be broken. It doesn't always mean that you're a really, really big girl, and I've had people argue with me about what I am and what I'm not. Um, I am curvy, I do have hips, I do have a waist, and I have a larger chest. That's what my shape is. It's, I don't think I'm really considered plus size. It's the norm. Most people are this size or close to. Um, yeah, I could go on for very long about this whole debate, but that's another video perhaps um someone asked me what i look for in a man well i i look for humor to be honest with you a guy that has a good sense of humor and can make you laugh is key definitely you see like the most uh unattractive males with the hottest chicks because they can make them laugh I truly believe that like a good comedian is is hard to find I think so that's what I really look for in a man and uh, obviously the other things like uh, don't sleep around on me be honest with me all the key elements and confidence too I really like a guy that's confident in himself um, yeah you can't you can't expect someone to be attracted to someone that's not positive as well so those are some very key elements to attracting women, guys. Um, what else? Oh, someone asked me, what's the best way to make a girl feel comfortable with herself and um, be happy with the way she is? Well, that's a very hard question to answer because it's kind of something that you need to dig in and get from yourself. You can't you can't tell someone they're beautiful unless they believe it themselves. Like you can tell them and tell them, but unless they truly believe themselves and look in and have some self-confidence there, you can't make a person that um, 
isn't confident confident, I think. You, the person needs to find it within themselves. Um, sure, compliments help, but uh, I could get like a million compliments in a day, and that one person that says something negative to me is what I'm going to remember. It's just whether you're able to get over it inside is the difference, pretty much. So um, he was, the guy that asked the question was pretty much just saying like, um, I'm usually around bigger girls, that's what I like, I'm into curvy girls, and they just don't feel confident. Well, unfortunately, they, they have to find that within themselves. I can't tell you the secret key to make someone feel good about themselves, but I think just be positive and um, make them feel comfortable as much as you can. Uh, don't ridicule them, obviously, but um, just try to be there for them and help them understand their beauty because I think that's the problem is a lot of girls just don't understand how beautiful they are. So, yeah, there you go. Um, there may have been a few more questions. Um, happiest childhood memory? Well, I grew up on a farm, so I was around animals all the time. Probably my, like, one of my favorite things ever was um, getting a pony on my, yeah, I was that girl. I got a pony on my sixth or seventh birthday and like I was the happiest person ever. So I'll never forget that. That is definitely one of the greatest childhood memories because all my city friends were very jealous of that. But um, yeah, that was, that would definitely be one of my favorite memories. Um, Hmm, I don't know what else to say. I am from Canada, and uh, I'm loving all the support from everyone across the world. Um, I hope you enjoy my photos. Uh, I'm not here to pick up a boy. I, and someone also asked me that. Um, yes, I'm single. Uh, I'm not married. I don't have a boyfriend, not yet, but um, I'm not really doing this for that. I'm doing this so people can see that you don't have to be a size zero uh, to be considered beautiful. And you don't, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You just, you need to be yourself and be happy with what you have and what you've been given. Uh, I travel a lot to third world countries that the people have nothing but they're the happiest. And then I come back home sometimes and the people have everything and they are the most unhappy. So I think you need to value what you have, what you've been given, uh, the ability to learn, to ed be educated, to walk out and not be ridiculed or hurt in any way by other people, um, the safety that the world has provided you. I think just people just need to be happy with what they have and we need to like stop being so critical of ourselves because there's a lot of people that hurt because of themselves you just need to be happy with what you have and what you've been given so yeah there's some words from miss ellie mayday uh if you have any more questions maybe i'll do another video um depending on how many questions i get i know i'm not that great at these video things um I jabber on and I say um a lot, uh, yeah I get that, but um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, I love and appreciate all of my followers and fans, I hope you love the images to come and keep on watching. Thank you!